Yeah, I, I went to work one morning shortly after he was told we had to have the surgery. And I kind of said after a meeting we had, and it was just the president of the bank and, and a few others that were in the room yet. And I kind of mentioned, you know, that I'd probably have to be gone for a little while because this was happening. And right away, the president, Terry Strand said, uh, and, and Gerald uh, Horner from Medina, they both said, well, contact Farm Rescue. And it hadn't even crossed my mind at that point to do that. And they, Gerald used to be on the board. And he said, give it a shot. And, and that's how it all came about. And I came home, I asked Ron, and we mulled it over for a couple of weeks before we actually knew that we didn't really have any other alternatives. We needed to get help because our son really couldn't handle it all because he's got a job too, you know. So it was hard, but I can't say anything but good stuff because it's very, I, we were met with very nice people all the way around from Bill personally called me and I had already been notified we could, we were on the list to have help. But Bill called me personally later that night and that meant a lot. I had a, uh, a triple bypass, but the main problem was I had a defective heart valve and aortic valve and we had to replace that. Uh, I was apparently born that way and I was getting by fine, but the older I got, it just wasn't keeping up no more and it had to be fixed. And I asked the surgeons if they would, could they wait until after harvest? And they says, no, we'd like to get it fixed while you're still feeling good before any trouble happens. So that's basically what happened. They gave me a new heart valve and, and uh, while they were doing it, opened me up, they gave me an angiogram and I had some blockages, so they gave me a triple bypass besides. So. The application was very easy. It, uh, I did it online and sent it to them, you know. It, it went real, it was a smooth process. It wasn't hard at all. Farm Rescue came in and harvested our wheat crop for us, uh, roughly about 300 acres. We made tremendous new friends. Uh, we hope to see them again at the banquet. Uh, we just had a great time with them. Uh, we were, they were in our house and we just, we really enjoyed them. They were, they were excellent. They almost became like family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, they came from all over. They were from Houston and Utah and New Mexico and, and every one of them were nice. They sat on the deck while I was cooking dinner and the volunteers became just, just like family to us. Yeah, the, uh, they done an excellent job. We have no uh, complaints at all, I mean, we just enjoyed every single person that helped us. RDO's equipment was, was, was great. They brought a, a John Deere tractor and a, and, a, and a new baler and baled straw. And uh, they also brought a combine. It was great. RDO, is, it's tremendous what they do, furnishing out these hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Uh, just giving it out there and, and letting us use it. It's, it's a tremendous asset and uh, all the sponsors like Walmart and Bremer, uh, they all do, all do a fantastic job. So. I think the sponsors are fabulous. RDO, Walmart, Bremer. I work now, I used to work for Northland Financial who was bought out by Choice Financial. Both banks were sponsors. I didn't, I knew Northland was, I did not know Choice was until after the fact, after he had surgery and we came on board to be with Choice, that they said their sponsors, they were glad to see it in action, glad to know somebody that it actually helped. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a wonderful organization, a bunch of organizations that it's truly, you can't even say words how much it meant. Well. <laughs> It would be nice if there was no need for farm rescue because then nobody would be hurt, everybody would be healthy, but that's not the case. There's always going to be a need for farm rescue. I mean, sure your neighbors, like I said, would will be there to help you and they would have been here to help me, but uh, everybody has their own things to do and you don't want to take them off their own to come and help you. So there's a definite need for farm rescue. That's the pride of a farmer. You hate to ask but they're there and it's maybe easier to ask somebody a little bit of step away from you than to ask those immediately right next door to you because you know the burden that they carry in farming also and you hate to take and add more onto them. The feedback from the community was very positive. Uh, they were working on Sunday uh, combining and they were running short of gas 
and we just called up to the local Senex station and we said, you know, we're going to need some diesel fuel out there because we always just come into the yard, but they they dropped their their Sunday projects and they brought the the diesel truck out and filled the combines, filled the truck and and they were happy to do so because they felt it was their part to do too. I thought the community's response was very positive.